Hi guys, welcome back to Hard Farm Life Channel. In the previous videos, the part one and the part two, we already done the basic setup for our bot. Now our bot can send the categories in this store by using a carousel template. Then we finish the feature lookup and order. With the feature lookup and order, we use the Facebook Messenger web view, so we can embed a custom web page from the node server inside the Facebook Messenger. In this video, we're gonna do the final feature, talk to an agent. With the feature, we will turn off the bot so the customer can talk with a real person. Like I started now. In order to do the feature turn on, turn off the bot, Facebook supports the handover protocol. You can search for the keyword Messenger Handover Protocol. Then click on the first result to go into the Facebook document. Or if you read the Facebook document, at the left side, click on Messaging. Then Handover Protocol. The Handover Protocol allows us to take control of the conversation between our customer and the bot. You know, although our bot is awesome, but at some point in a conversation, it is better, it will require or better be handled by a person. So we need to use the handover protocol to take control of the conversation from our bot to a human. Then the human can turn off the bot and the conversation continue between our customer and a real person. In this video, we're gonna use the handover protocol and the page inbox. In order to use the page inbox, we need to set in our page. So go into the Facebook, then open your Facebook page. At your Facebook page, click on settings. Then at the left side, click on advanced messaging. Scroll to the scroll to the connected apps. You can see we have the Facebook app. Then click on the app setting. The primary receiver for handover protocol, we will choose the Facebook app. Then the secondary receiver, we will choose the page inbox. This is our setting for the handover protocol. We also need to provide a whitelisted domain, but we already done the feature in the previous video. The next thing we will do is to enable a live chat via page inbox. To do this feature, we're gonna pass the thread control, the conversation from the bot to the page inbox. So to do that, we need to know the page inbox ID. But before, this is the Facebook page inbox ID. So I will copy this ID. Go back to our code. In the env file, I create a new variable. The secondary receiver ID is the page inbox. I copy its name and then update the env.example without its value. Go to the controller file. We need to update the function talk to a nation. Then scroll to the switch case. Click on the function request talk to a nation. First, we will send a text message telling that the customer turn off the bot. Then we will change the control of the conversation to the page inbox. To send a text message, I create a response. Let respond one. Let respond equal an object and it is a text object, the text, then the message we want to send. The second response we will call an ABI. 
so we need to use a sync and a wait a wait the service to send the first response. We already assigned the secondary receiver to the page inbox. Now it's time to pass in the thread control by using this ABI. I will copy this example request. The passing thread control will pass the conversation from the primary app to the secondary app. So we can pass the conversation from our bot, the first, the primary app to the secondary app is the page inbox. I copy the example request. Then go back to our code. I create a new function, pass thread control. Equal an error function. This function will return a promise to ensure that we finish the action calling the Facebook API. You try and cache to handle exception. We reject any error we have. I will paste the example request right here and add a comment. I update the request talk donation. We will call the path record to conversation right here and also pass the sender PS ID as the input parameter. Update this function. We need to use a HTTP request. I will copy this example request. Copy this plot code. Then update our function. We will change the URL parameter to this parameter. Copy this one. And then update the URL. I will delete the page asset token because the request already has the page asset token. We need to pass the sender PSID as the input parameter. And we will update the request body. We will have the target app ID is the secondary receiver. The target app ID is the secondary receiver. It means it is the Facebook page inbox and we will get its value from .env file. Proceed.env dot secondary receiver ID. It is the Facebook page inbox, and then the metadata is a message we want to send. I will set the message pass thread control to the page inbox. Remove the command. I will change the API version to 6.0. I will update our code to see if we can pass the conversation to the page inbox or not. Git add our files. Git commit the message update. Git push Heroku master. When the page inbox is assigned to secondary receiver role, all the messages sent to our bot will appear in the done folder. When the page inbox has the control of the conversation, all the messages from our customer will be moved to the inbox folder. To test our bot, open the Facebook page, click on the inbox section, 
Jun see I have a message from Hurricane and it's the main folder. I will delete my messages. I check the done folder and the main folder. It's empty now. Reload our messenger. I will send a message. Restart the conversation. Now we still use the our bot, so the message we will have in the done folder. I delete this one as well. Reload this page to update our conversation. The main folder is empty. Let's check the done folder. We have the message from Hurricane. It is the message I sent with our bot. So if I choose the feature talk to a nation, I hope our message will be moved to the main folder. We have the message. We turn off the bot. Reload this page. Something is right here. The message still in the done folder. If everything run correctly, the message from the Facebook user will be moved to the main folder. So we need to check our code. We have an error. Target app ID is required. This error happened because we only update the local code. We forget to update the header code. I create a new variable right here and get its value by using process.env and then copy the name right here. We also update our function. We need to deploy to Heroku again. And then open your Facebook app, go into the Messenger product. At the page subscriptions, I will select all events from the Facebook. The last thing we will do is to open the Heroku app, click on the setting. We need to config our variable right here. Update the secondary ID. Update its value. Go back to our page. I will delete this conversation. Reload this page. The main folder is empty now. The done folder is empty. Let's check our bot. I will send a message. Hi there. By default, the message is in the done folder. Reload the page. The main is empty. The done folder, we have the message from our bot. I will choose the feature talk to a nation. After we choose the feature talk to nation, I hope our conversation will be moved to the main folder. The done folder is empty. And the main folder, it is our conversation. You can send another message. And as you can see, we don't have any message reply from our bot. It means that the owner of the conversation right now is the page inbox. We already turned off the bot. The next feature we will do is to turn on the bot again. To do that, go back to our code. By default, if the secondary receiver is the owner of the conversation, the first receiver, I mean our bot, will receive the standby event. It's to listen to our Facebook event. So we need to check the incoming message is for our bot or not. If the message is for our bot, the primary app, we don't change anything. Otherwise, we will return from this function. Our bot will do nothing about that message. To update our server code, I need to deploy our app again.
git error file, git commit, and then git push Heroku master. Let's check out about. I will delete the conversation or message in the done folder right now. The main folder is empty. I will restart the conversation and then choose the feature set donation. Now I already turned off the bot. The message is in the main folder and I send a message. The bot is turned off so we have no reply. You can manually turn on the bot again by click on the button move to the done folder. Let's check our bot. If I send another object, we will receive a message from our bot. We receive the message hello ABC. We have another response. The next thing we will do is to have a button for our customer turn on the bot instead of manually click on the move to the done folder. To do that, we need to update our function. Before we return, we will do something in this function. I will use the message back or exit. Whenever a customer sends a message back or exit, we will turn on the bot again. You can see in the standby event, we already have a message. We need to get the sender PSID. So I will console that log the standby event. I mean the entry does standby to see the message we have. Deploy our code, get out of files, get commit, then get push Heroku master. Restart the conversation. I will turn off the bot and then send another message to check the standby object. At the console, we have the standby object. The message I sent was up and we have the sender PSID. I create a new variable let message equal entry dot standby dot the message object.
I deploy again our app to see our function is working or not. The test R bot. First, I remove all the conversation and turn on the bot. Then, send a test message ABC. The bot is working. Next, choose the feature Talk to Nation to turn off the bot. And then, send another message. Let's see that we can get the message written here in the Heroku logs. We get the message written here. But also we get the log about another error. Let's see what error we have. We get an error cannot read property text at any point. To fix the error, we need to change the if condition. I will check the webhook standby event first. And then, I will check if we have a message object or not. I will deploy our code again. Keep push Heroku Master. Come back to our bot, move to the done folder to turn on the bot, send the test message, and then turn off the bot, send another message, what's up, and then another message. You can see we have the message written here at the Heroku logs. You can see we have the message written here at the Heroku logs, and we don't have any several errors.